Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is just... Uh, this story that I'm going to tell is just absolutely weird and odd and you guys will be just shaking your head after you, after you are done watching this video. I have never had this happen in my life. I've been called a lot of things in my life in school and this and that but never this so anyway i was at walmart so this happened so this so happened on a sunday this past sunday and i go to walmart on uh, stonebridge uh, not stonebridge but blairmore because it's closer and i'm going to pick up a christmas gift and I'm just walking down the aisle whatever just you know looking around and i just glanced over at this customer and uh, she just said you're a creep and I'm like okay and you know I just you know I just keep walking you know I don't pay attention to that stuff so you know, maybe maybe it was somebody else that she was saying that to you or whatever but anyway I get to the entertainment section and at Walmart they have these little tiny they bought out uh, these little tiny mini arcade cabinets so obviously they have Street Fighter, and then I noticed that they had Pac-Man in the box. And um, anyway, I'm playing Street Fighter and stuff like that, and she comes around with a friend and says, "That's the guy." And she said it loud enough that everybody was like looking at me, and I'm like, "What the hell?" So I'm like, "Whatever." And then now here's the kicker. Then she's a, then I, I got accused of taking pictures. So she's, I'm playing the game and she looks at me and I look at her and she's like, were you taking pictures of me with your cell phone? And I'm like, no. And she's like, oh, I think you were. And I'm like, no. Like I had my cell phone in my jacket pocket and that was it. And then after that, nothing. And I'm like, what the hell? So... Obviously, I get my Christmas gift and got out of it. You know, I just left. It's like, wow, if I can get accused of taking pictures with the cell phone, and it it, it was just the oddest thing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read the um, my post to you guys um, because it's just, it's just downright it's freaking weird. So it's exactly the same post. Go if I can go down, go down, go down. Um, so I posted this December fifth, and it's December sixth. So I posted this yesterday, cause I go home and you know, told my wife and uh, she's like, well, you know, what happened, stuff like that, and then um, you know, and I don't know, I honestly, I I've, I've been call all names but a creep like really I'm the nicest guy like I'm like really nice if you if anybody knows me like I'm a, I'm a really nice guy I'm like very outgoing I'm a little shy when I get to when I get to know new people but you get to know me man I'm not I'm great um but yeah just like odd thing and I go to work and you know tell my co-workers and they, they just had a good... I turned everything. like So she called me a creep. So I kind of turned that negative. Because a lot of people take that into like a negative And bring, you know, that will kind of bring your self-confidence down. But me, I changed it into a positive. So she called me that. And, you know, I'm making all these jokes. And I'm a creepy Kenny. <laughs> you know, I'm just having a blast. Because, you know, they, I, like... I don't know. So technically, I made that into a... So I went from a negative, I took that negative, what she said to me, and I flipped it into a positive. So I'm like talking about, you know, some of my coworkers and my coworkers are like, hey, you should make a video. And I'm like pondering the idea of like posting a video about this. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to post this on Facebook and then I'm going to make a YouTube video. So that's what I'm doing. But this is what I posted uh, yesterday, uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon. Well, here's one odd story for everyone to read here on Facebook. I was called a lot of things in my life, but not this. 
So on Sunday, I go to Walmart on 22nd Street in Blairmore to get a Christmas gift. And this random customer that was a young lady, maybe between the age of very late teens, early 20s, with a kid, she just looked at me and called me a creep. For no reason. No reason at all. So I just said in my head, okay, and keep walking. Then she comes around the corner by the entertainment with a friend and just points at me and said, that's the guy. That guy. Everyone, everyone looked at me and I'm like, WTF. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means. I'm not going to say it on my channel. What? WTF, right? Then she asked me if I was taking pictures of her and I'm like, no, with an odd look on my face. And I'm like, I might be a, I might be, I might be a lot of things like an odd duck, but really a creep? Wow, so that's my fun story of the day. And I'm just going to make you, I'm going to read some of my friends' comments. And I went to school this one. Most of them I went to school, some of them are family. She's like, um, sounds like she had a major chip on her shoulder. Totally uncalled for. Uh, another one. I'm not going to name names on here. Because just in case, you know, they don't want their names to be on YouTube. Well, this really breaks my heart. There was a... Uh, there's just some people out there that are just so ruthless and rude. I'm so sorry this happened to you. And, you know, you know, and, you know, stuff like that. You know, all of my friends pretty much came to my defense. But, like, at Walmart, of all the things, just like, you're a creep. So I went to work, and now I, now my coworkers make fun of me. The creeper guy's here. I'm like, yep. Creepy candy, creepy candy is here, look out. So, but, you know what? That is what you have to do nowadays. You know, we live in a world where you almost can't make eye contact. You know, people are so sensitive to everything. You know, everything you say, they take out of content. You know, they don't, they don't get educated enough on things. And, you know, you can let that bring you down. You know, your self-confidence down, because when you say you call a creep, it's like, mm. But, you know, I changed that into a positive. So everyone's, you know, having the fun, and, you know, I'm telling this story and whatever, and, you know, I'm glad I'm going to, I'm sharing this with you guys, because, you know, that's, that's cool, because now you guys are going to watch this video, and you'll be like, why? Like, out of all the random things, a creep? Like, Really? I don't, honestly don't know. Um, but, hey, that's people, man. Um, if I'm a creep, well then I guess I'm just a creep. But anyway, you guys, that's my fun story of the day on YouTube. Um, hope you guys enjoy... <coughs> Excuse me. Hope you guys enjoyed a, kind of a good laugh. And maybe you just shake your head a little bit, but hey, that's me, man. Um, as always, guys, thanks for the watching. Thanks for the support over the years. A hundred and some, hundred and seventy-three subscribers, and uh, fig, that's awesome. Um, I enjoy that. I'm glad that you guys take the time out of your out of your day to watch my videos. Very well appreciated. Um, Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos, cool videos, wacky videos, more creepy stories, um, and stuff like that. I, you guys are awesome. You guys are great. Um, and stuff like that. I very appreciate it again. I love you guys all. And um, like I said, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more creepy stories. If I come up, if I come across one, I'll let you guys know. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys for more creepy videos. See you guys.